Hello, this is Ronan Dave, and today we're going to talk about the beer of the Battle of Sekigahara. I have with me five specially made beers that are based on a historical battle that took place in Japan over 400 years ago. Each of the beers uh, represents a leader that was at that battle. So what I'm going to try to do is try to drink all five of them uh, in a row while I talk about uh, the battle and what each of those leaders, uh, 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 who they were. This is Ashida Mitsunari. Now a bit of background, Battle of Sekigahara. You pretty much say it's one of the most decisive, if not the decisive, battle in Japanese history. It's kind of like the uh, Battle of Hastings or, or Waterloo. There was a clear-cut victory and there was a big outcome, a big change in Japanese history. Sekigahara took place in 1600 on August, uh, October 21st, according to the Western calendar. Sekigahara is a small town uh, 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 close to Nagoya and on the way to Kyoto. Uh, the two armies that had fought there, there were two great armies. They're known simply as the Western Army and the Eastern Army. The battle was fought between Ashida Mitsunari, who was the leader of the Western Army, and it was he fought against Tokugawa Iyasu, leader of the Eastern Army. Ashida lost. Tokugawa. Uh, became the most powerful man in Japan and about three years later he was named Shogun and he set up the, the Tokugawa Shogunate which lasted until 1867. Now I'm going to give some background uh, to all this. We got to go back to 1560. 1560 was also uh, a decisive battle if you can call it that, more of an ambush. It was the Battle of Okahazama. Oh. Right before that battle, much of the uh, 16th century in Japan, uh, many provinces were fighting against each other. It was known as the Sengoku period, uh, warring states. The shogun at that time, the Ashikaga shoguns, had lost power, and they were pretty much an empty figurehead in Kyoto. Uh, and lords of all these different regions were fighting each other to increase their territory or defend what they had. Uh, and some had dreams of uh, getting a big enough force and going to Kyoto and trying to unify all of Japan. Now in 1560, one uh, powerful lord, Imagawa, tried to do that. But he was stopped and killed by Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga is the one from 1560 onwards he began unifying Japan and he did so for about 22 years until he was uh, assassinated by one of his own followers. He was succeeded by a uh, brilliant general, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi continued the work and further unified all of Japan and then he went off and attacked Korea. I guess nothing better to do. Hideyoshi has a son, Hideyori. He's a young, young lad, and Hideyoshi uh, dies in 1598. But before he dies, he knows there's going to be trouble. He doesn't think the future of his son is going to be safe, so he sets up a council of a number of uh, lords and uh, some of his followers. One of those is Tokugawa, and the other one is Ashida Mitsunari. Now, because of those Korean campaigns, uh, there was a lot of hard feelings between a number of those lords, uh, especially against Ashida Mitsunari. Certain of uh, Toyotomi's loyal followers hated him, hated his guts because he was arrogant and, and sometimes he snitched on him to Hideyoshi and got him in trouble. 
Now, Ashita Mitsunari, talking about him, he was a very loyal follower of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and he was kind of like his uh, administrator. He was supposed to be a really good administrator. Ashita Mitsunari, he was probably the Western Army, even though he was the leader, he was probably the weakest link because a lot of people didn't like him. Some of the warlords went over to Tokugawa's side. Yeah, she'd have pissed off a lot of people. Ah, but what really turned the tide of the battle, though, was one of the Western Army's allies, Kobayakawa uh, Hideaki. He was on the Western Army's side, but Tokugawa had secretly uh, sent messages to him and made a few promises here and there. The battle, when it started around like 9 o'clock, had been going kind of back and forth, neither side victorious. Uh, but then Kobayakawa uh, turned against his allies, and that pretty much sealed the fate of the army, was uh, his, his surprise attack. All right, one down. Now, Mitsunari, uh, Ashita Mitsunari, he lost the battle, he escaped, but was captured and was later executed. Uh, some, some say he was executed rather brutally, buried up to his neck, and people are allowed to use a bamboo saw to cut along his neck and kill him slowly. I don't know if that's true or not, but either way, he ended up dead. 